Well, let's start off. Uh, we're, we're to the go time, ready to go. Practice off season. You had a chance to watch the team on your international tour. Do you feel good about where you are right now? You know what? We had a scrimmage at TCU, and they're a veteran group with a lot of returning guys that showed us we got a lot of work to do. I like our group a lot, but we definitely got some work to do. There's a reason you you know you play so many games before you get to the Michigan State, Gonzaga, Houston one. So we're getting better, but we're young. With a young group, there's you know I think there's a, a big gap between where our potential is and where we currently are this early in the preseason. But uh, we're, we'll get them, we'll get them there. We're gonna we're gonna be playing well by the time we need to be playing well. Did you feel like a number 20 preseason ranking was fair? Uh, before we played TCU. <laughs> they may want to re rank. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I mean, but we, we, I mean, we, we had some guys out with injuries, and um, we, you know, Charles and Amari were out. JQ's going to be out till sometime in December. So we'll get some guys back, and they're, they're a veteran group. But no, I, I think I think our potential's there. I think we definitely got a roster that can be a top 20 team. We just, we got to get them there, and, and, and they're young. I mean, and mm -hmm. the ones that aren't young, haven't played with us, you know, it's only four guys that have played a game for us on this roster. Cornerly's not gonna be ready till sometime in December. So we really only have three. And right now, you know, Charles is out, so the only ones that are practicing with us that have ever played a game are Darius and Noah Gurley. So it's a lot of new guys, a lot of young guys, four freshmen, junior college transfer, a couple other transfers. So we're, we're, we're starting to gel, but we, we got some work to do. Did you approach building this roster differently in the offseason? Because it looks like uh, you know one mid-major guy you went and got that can shoot the lights out. Did you approach getting this yeah, roster shooting, built differently? We did. Shooting, we wanted some length. Um, we just we, we didn't have enough big guards, and we wanted shooting. So we uh, Sears and Dom Welch both bring shooting. That uh, was a huge priority for us. You know, and then we feel like some of our freshmen, you know, Ryland's 6'5", Brandon 6'8", 6'9". They, um, Noah Clowney can play the four at 6'10". So we feel like we can get some more length, which will help us on defense. Our defense wasn't nearly as good as it needed to be last year. The year before when we had Herb Jones right. with all his length and even our guards were bigger, Petty, Primo. So we wanted some bigger guards, some more length and, and better shooting. So that's what we went after. Is this a perfect at a conference schedule? I mean, it's a very, it's an entertaining one, but is, yeah, if, you, I, if you could just design a dream one. I, you guys were talking about Wimp before. I don't think yeah. Wimp would call it a perfect one. No, no. Not, there's no. not enough guaranteed wins on it. That's right. <laughs> but, yes. So I don't know if I don't know what perfect would be. Yeah. Like, it's tough. Yeah. I, you know, like I, we'll have to wait and see how we come through it. If if we win them all, it's gonna be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. it's gonna be hard to win yeah. them all. I do. Th I, I want to play tough teams. So I want to get prepared for SEC play. I think mm -hmm. I, I want to get exposed in some areas yep. that we. Our guys realize they need to get better at. So as far as that regard, yeah, it's, it's very hard, and it's going to make us much better. I don't know if that's what you meant by perfect. We, I don't know that we'll be perfect at the end of it, but <laughs> I think we'll be better for yeah. it for sure. Yeah, Coach, thank you for the time. Thanks, as always, thanks. good to see you.